Welcome everybody to today's video. Today is going to be a special video for me. Um, it's a little bit of an unboxing, but also I have something here really, really important to me. Um, something that I received um, a little bit ago. I know I haven't made too many videos recently, but um, this one is one of the more important ones and and one of the ones that I'm going to do probably. Let me take out what's in here. Let me show you guys what is in here. Something very special, very important to me. And it is my five year anniversary. Um, I guess um, you could say um, award. <laughs> no, it's not an award. Um, it's basically just um, you know my little plaque I guess you could say um, let me read to you it says hurdler and obviously has the number five in Roman numeral um, and then it says congratulations to Luis Garcia for five years of service the Nike team is as strong as each individual on the team thank you for your continued dedication and teamwork and then it is signed by Phil Knight, who is a co-founder, in case you didn't know that. Um, but man, I know this is just a dumb piece of paper, or you might think that this is just a dumb piece of paper. But for me, it means a lot more and in the sense of, you know, I put in five years with this company and it honestly just had started out as just, you know, a part-time job to um, kind of get by um, through college. You know, I was still working at my college and I was also um, working at Nike uh, and while still going to school, all trying to graduate. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I remember going into an interview and it was a group interview, you know, not thinking much, you know, and I did the interview, I think, I mean, I knew it went pretty well based off my answers and based off other people's answers. Um, and then I got a call back that, you know, I was gonna, um, I got a job. Um, so, uh, I went and basically the rest is history, what I've done, um, uh, I've moved up pretty quick in the company, although it hasn't been the best situation maybe at every store um, but I wouldn't change anything sim simply for the fact that you know I've been to three stores and it's opened my eyes to a lot of things I've seen a lot of stuff I've got to work with a lot of different type of personalities a lot of type of different leaders um, and and that's all stuff that I've been able to learn from um, but but yeah I mean this YouTube thing that I did that isn't maybe as big as I would want it to be, but you know, I still thank everybody who um, is subscribed or who's followed my videos. You know, I don't, I don't know who's been with me the longest, um, but I, I still thank every one of you guys. And my Nike career um, and my YouTube career, you know, go hand in hand because my first ever video that I um, recorded was a vlog uh, of me, you know, starting work. And it's today's date, April 13th. Um, and that was the first time that I recorded. It did take me like two days to upload. Um, so I believe the official date of what it says that I uploaded was April 15th. But I actually recorded the video on the 13th. Um, and why I remember, because that was Kobe Bryant's last game. Um, so big ups to Kobe and his legacy that, you know, he, he, he left us uh, a lot of memories. And uh, so, yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of why, you know, wor working with Nike and YouTube just kind of go hand in hand. Uh, my YouTube channel, I wanted it to be able to be an everything channel, but I realized that that's not what viewers wanted to watch. Um, so I kind of stopped the vlogging, stopped doing the um sneakers and uh 
you know, just do um, soccer shoe reviews, boots, whatever you call them. Um, and um, I think that's been a little bit better. But I do miss vlogging. I do have the other channel. That description will be in the link in case you want to watch vlogs. But I don't think you do, obviously. Um, so, yeah, you know, I was doing skits on this one. I was trying to do everything. Um, and that just wasn't working. And as soon as I left all that stuff behind and just focus on on the, the, the cleats, um, it kind of helped me a little bit. And again, it's not where I would love to be, obviously. Um, I wish I had a lot more audience. But I'm very happy with what I have because it's way more than I ever expected to have. Um, not, you know, so it doesn't diminish anything at all if you're subscribed. I just want to thank you for coming along this journey. Uh, whether you've been on it for five years or you've been on it for two months, a week, it doesn't matter. Um, and I still want to hit a thousand subscribers so I can do a really good, good giveaway. Um, but yeah, so there was a minute there was there was a little bit of time there that i was thinking like okay so new with the policy of nike once you put in five years you can kind of retire i guess you can you can say i'm done with the company i've done my five years i'm just here you know part-time or i'm just here for a discount whatever the case may be you can walk away at five years you put in five years and you get your lifetime discount um, my discount isn't the only reason why I work with Nike, but it is a very um, nice thing to have, I guess you could say. Um, uh, so if you're thinking about that, just remember, you know, put in five years, you get a lifetime discount. Obviously, you, you know, the rules can't abuse it, things like that. Um, so and I, I was thinking about walking away from the company and trying to do something new. You know, it's like I got that discount already. Um, I kind of feel like since I have their discount, it would be easier maybe to try to get back in um, if I needed a job because they're like, you know, we're already giving them dis our discount. Why not just hire them back? Um, but I don't know. And then I was thinking with that, like since I started this YouTube thing because I started working at Nike on the same you know, my first day, my first vlog was Nike related YouTube. You know, I was thinking, should I, if I'm walking away from Nike, should I walk away from um, my my YouTube as well? You know, I, I, I really, really debated that for a little while. And I still am, don't know. I'm still haven't decided on what I want to do. I know that I've put in a lot of money. I've put in a lot of time. Uh, I mean, I could put more time into it. Let's, let's be honest. Um, but I've put in a lot of money. I've invested a lot. You know, I, I really do this because I like it. Um, and proof of that is probably because no one is even really watching this video. I would think, uh, you know, this is probably just me talking to one or two people. Um, but, but it really has meant a lot to me and it's been really, really fun. So that's the kind of the reason why I want to keep doing it. I do realize that I don't know if I could keep up with the demands of, you know, what it takes to to uphold the um, YouTube channel like I would want it to be, you know. Um, reality is that I don't get paid for this. I don't get paid for posting a video. I don't get paid um, for showing these shoes. I have to put in my own money. I have to pay whether it's a discount or not you know, still a, a, a good price tag that, you know, I pay for these cleats and, and stuff like that. And, you know, at a certain point, you kind of have to um, sit back and, and reevaluate things a little bit. And for me, that's one of the, the, the big things for me is more just like, can I really keep doing this? I would love to. But again, like I said, I have to pay for this stuff for myself. And right now, things aren't the best uh but you know it's not that i can't do it but it's just like you know do i want to keep up continuing with it and i'm not like other youtubers bigger youtubers that get stuff sent to them or you know maybe they have something like i could i could buy these do a review return them buy you know buy another one return them but honestly i keep all my cleats that I've done a review on, I have all of them except maybe one or two. If I return them, it was just because they really, really were not 
what I expected or what I liked. So I like to be honest with you guys in that sense too, because you know if if I, if I'm gonna wear something or I recommend it, you know, I want to, I'll, I'll I'm gonna tell you guys the truth and tell you guys if it's worth it or not. Um, so in that sense, you know, just know that even though I work for the company or if I get a discount from them for life, whatever it be, I'm always going to be honest and I'm already going to tell you the truth. So with that being said, let's uh, put this little five year mark. You know, I feel like it's like a diploma because, you know, you go to college for a few years and you graduate and you move on. But I don't know if I'm ready to move on yet because, you know, I just still like going to work, I guess, every once in a while. <laughs> no one likes to work but it's 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 something you got to do something to um, keep your mind off stuff and obviously i need money to keep being able to afford these shoes um so i'm gonna cut this open we're gonna take it out of the box and show you guys what it is this isn't gonna be too much of a tech review just an unboxing and first look i guess you could say um, so, oh, I must, I think I need a new knife, maybe. All right. So, let's take these out. Throw that box away. And, as you can tell, this box looks a little bigger, or this is just smaller. That's weird. I don't know. I can't see one. Oh, yeah. Maybe they did make this look smaller. I don't know, but... You got them Superfly 8 Elites, and it's the Mercurial Dream Speed in a size 10 and a half, which is exactly my size. Um, that's a good thing with most of these cleats. I mean, with all Nike cleats, I'm pretty sure going true to size is probably the best way to go. I don't think I've ever had to um, downsize or upsize in any of Nike cleats. Um, if I've worn a half size down, it's because I either wanted the shoe or it was leather that I think it was going to stretch. But I I never really had an overstretching problem. Maybe because I just have too many cleats that I just don't wear them enough. But like comment below if you've ever had that happen. People talk about it all the time. And I just have never, ever felt that. I've never felt like a shoe just become overly stretched. So if that's happened to you, let me know. Let me know. Maybe I just have to wear one, one boot a lot, but here's a string bag. Kind of cool. We don't care about that, though. Like I said, I have so many string bags. And here is the cleats, the boots. That's nice. It kind of reminds me of, like, pink lemonade, like some type of drink, fruity drink. Um... I think they're cool. I still, I feel like they just couldn't let go of um, the, like the, sh what is that? Like a racing flag or something. You know, these were, all, that same pattern was very, um, it's re very reminiscent of the Neymar um, boot that they had released. Um, like, and it's like a, a, a rubberized thing here. Um, Obviously, I've, I've done the review on the regular version. And I was thinking about, I'm going to go through and, and um, personalize all my cleats more. You know, it's going to be the same thing, but I'm going to put them all. So I kind of want to make a video on an easy way on how you can do the same. And I'm pretty sure it's the same way that they um, um, personalize for the pros. You know how you see where they have um, their names. And then like their country flag, I'm pretty sure the way that I just decided to do it is the same way um, that they do it for, for the pros. So um, definitely stay tuned for that video. That's something I can do um, and show you guys. Um, maybe you won't have the materials to do it yourself, but I guess maybe I can do a fee or, or run the stuff for people. Or if you find somebody that can do it for you. Um, that's kind of an option as well. Uh, but yeah, same, nothing different from the, um, the regular Superfly 8. It's just a higher price. If you can tell, this was 
295. Is that? See, I don't even remember. Hold on. Let me take a quick look at what the... Um, uh, see what the regular price tag is on these. Now, I see with my discount and everything, I don't even know what the regular... Okay, yeah. So, it is it is a premium price tag of 295 The regular uh, Mercurial Superfly would be 275 so it's a $20 premium charge and then I realized that these are being released and I'm behind on on this unboxing way behind um, but this one is coming out soon it said it was already out today um, but it, I, it doesn't let me purchase them and it just says coming soon uh, but another cool colorway again that's when it hit me like I can't keep up with all these these colorways as much as I want to man but investing two hundred dollars two hundred dollars like I said I just got these last week in and I should have made this video a long time ago um and and then another colorway coming out and it's like damn Nike you're trying to take all my money that I work for and you just want to turn around and give it back to you and I'm I'm again I'm double cursed because I have sneakers and then I have my football boots so I'm really, really double cursed. But season is going to be starting, I believe, it does start today on the 13th. Rather, I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to go to this game. I'm not sure. I haven't been contacted yet. Um, but I'm going to go back. I am going back to playing football again. Um, I have my vaccines, so that's good. Um, but I'm seeing in here. Let me read you this, what is inside there. It's kind of cool in the shoe. Like I said, I like little details. I like that Nike does that type of stuff. Um, it says, dreams are not what you see in your sleep. Dreams are things which do not let you sleep. Inspire the dreams of CR7. Wow. So that's, that's actually really, really, really deep. And I like that. I like that a lot. And then it just has MDS, Dream Speed. Nike World Headquarters. But man, that quote is really, really sticking to me. I feel like either I should take the insole out or maybe put like a piece of tape. That's a little tip for you guys. If you wear like Jordans or anything that has like a cool um, design in the insole, just take some clear tape and, and put that on there and it'll um, preserve it a little, a little longer. I mean, obviously you won't be able to like rip it off or anything like that, but... Um, at least it'll show there and still be there. But man, let me let me read that again. Dreams are not what you see in your sleep. Dreams are things which do not let you sleep. I'm gonna have to steal that quote. I'm gonna I'm really have to steal that quote. And I don't know if he made that up or Nike made that up, but I kind of like the way they smell. <laughs> and it's just a synthetic upper. But <laughs> don't mind me. Um, but anyways, so that quote was going to definitely be an Instagram post. Eventually. Oh, that was my phone. Bloopers and all, you see, I don't I don't edit my videos much. I don't. I try not to. I just try to let them flow. So with that being said, guys, thank you. Thank you again for these past five years. And I don't care if you're new right now, if you're new watching this video and you just subscribe or you've been along for the whole, whole five years or four years three years, two years, what it does not matter, guys. I just want to say thank you to your all to you all. I don't know where we're going from here. Um I really don't. It's something I had to think about again. Um but no matter what guys, I just want to say thank you all. Uh, I appreciate you guys. And thanks for the support. Um with that being said, I'm gonna end this video. Hopefully it's not the last one. Um and hopefully I can keep making content if that's you know what I desire or what I'm able to do but like I said I'm almost always, always gonna be honest with you guys whether it's with the product review or you know about my 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 YouTube career um, career it's not even a career but look at me talking you know I'm trying to speak it into existence that's all guys don't mind me but thank you guys again we'll see you guys in the next one hopefully peace